Copernicus himself didn't face any opposition from the church because he worked for the Catholic Church his entire life. Wait, seriously? Copernicus, how's your work going, you old church bureaucrat? Finished early, boss. In fact, I've been working on my astronomy. I have this new theory I'm calling... Don't care! Well, maybe they didn't care at first, but when he published his book, they saw the danger it posed to their theology, and they burned him alive, probably. Right? Nope. In fact, the book barely showed up on the church's radar. Your Holiness, Copernicus's new book says the Earth revolves around the sun. Who cares? I'm trying to figure out the miracle of how Jesus turned water into wine. But he dedicated the book to you. Oh, what a sweetheart. Copernicus dedicated his book to the Pope? Yep. In fact, the church was so tolerant of Copernicus's ideas that some of his writings were even taught and read at major Catholic universities. Welcome to Not Blasphemy 101. Today we'll be talking about someone the church has absolutely no problem with, Copernicus.